What's going on guys? It's your boy Spudsy here. And in case you forgot, I have something that might jog your memory a little. Sigil swap, Harold man, don't be bland. Let me show you how to run this build hand by hand. First you take this straight line, the darkest of them all, it'll put them on their knees, struggling on your Whoa, whoa, man, relax. Isn't this channel supposed to be like PG-13 or something? Yeah, I guess you're right. How about a new song? Sigil swap, Harold, the time is near. So go ahead and throw on that celestial gear. Grab all your friends, yeah, it's time to go. Show those Maguma dudes a real sick show. Let's do it. What's going on guys? It's your boy Spudsy here, and today I'm going to be showing you a very fun and highly effective roaming build for none other than the Herald. This is a build I like to call the Sigil Swap Herald. Essentially what it does is it runs sigils like Superior Sigil of Doom, Geomancy, and Hydromancy to make it so that we can stack up the conditions and add a lot of pressure onto our targets. The main source of burst comes from legend swapping and with the recent changes of sigils now being activated on legend swap, this build has been returned to its former glory. Being able to apply your sigils on an already potent legend swap means that your burst just got a lot better. Our traits in the corrupt trait line make it so that on legend swap we'll be exploding the area around us for a nice chunk of condition damage. Couple this with a few sigils of doom and hydromancy and you'll have your opponent smothered with condies in no time. Revenant is one of the classes that can actually make great use out of celestial stats. While the damage on this build is primarily condition based, the mix of power and condi damage on celestial gear is present in our weapon loadout. Mace and axe are the primary damaging weapons in this set. Comboing Mace 2's Fire Field into a Mace 3 or Sword 2 really helps to rack up the damage on targets. I really enjoy using Axe as an offhand, seeing as how it is just a pure utility weapon. The Teleport on Axe 4, the CC on Axe 5 really adds a lot to this build that can help you set things up. Sword and Shield will be your other weapon set, acting as more of a defensive option. The Leadership Rune is fantastic for this Herald build, seeing as how it's what gives the most boon duration as well as stats across the board. We run the Legendary Dragon Stance for not just its utility, but in order to make full use of this rune. For our second option, it's really between Shiro and Malix. If I'm being honest, Shiro is the best all around pick for winning fights thanks to the added mobility and unblockable hits. Malix is also a great option that I messed around with. When it comes to taking camps or fighting in close quarters, Malix could be favored. It really just depends, but overall, Shiro is just better due to the fact that sometimes in Demon Stance, you are just a sitting duck with no mobility which really sucks. I think one of the best parts about this build is being able to hit multiple enemies at once without even targeting them off of your swap. No one gets left out, everyone around you and your target are able to feel the wrath of the Sigil Swap Herald. If you enjoyed the video, let me know by leaving a like and a subscribe as it helps out a ton. What do you think of the build and will you be trying it out? Let me know down below. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.
running through the borderlands, got a sick cheer, riding on that war claw, flexing on my gear, vindicator tree, yeah you know me, revenant main, that's how it's supposed to be, alliance stands, assassin stance, it don't matter when I put you in that trance, I do my dance, spray you with that lance, then I advance, how can one man be an REV, if you kiddies just won't stop approaching me, yeah, that's all I got. Why don't you like and subscribe for more spudsy content? I'm out. Peace.